Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, you guys, I talked about this Bolo in a recent video that I did, and I was like, I've just got to dig a little bit deeper on this one, and I'm going to let you in on a little secret. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. <laughs> amazing, right? All right, let's get started. Okay, so this little guy right here, this is the Thai Beanie Boos Kiwi the Frog. He's purple with mint. And you guys, I knew that Beanie Boos could do okay, but I had no idea that these small little six inch ones could go for $189. Are you kidding me? Ah, so um, yeah, she was at the Goodwill Benz, and this is Dumpster Diva. If you're not following her channel, go and subscribe to her. I will link her down in the description. She is amazing. I love her videos. Her personality, oh, she has me laughing all the time, and she finds some really great stuff. But she sold this Beanie Boo, which made me think, I want to know which Beanie Boos I need to look for. And I'm going to let you in on a little secret here, okay? Do you want to know the secret? Okay, I'm going to show you. So let's go over here to eBay. And I have verified these with feedback. Um, so these are legit sales. So one that you want to be looking for is this one right here. It is Kooky the Koala. All right. And it says first gen. I don't know how you know if they're first gen or what. But right here's the tag. So the pictures, there's three pictures and none of them are that great. So you don't even have to have great pictures to sell this Beanie Boo for $149.99. Um, Kooky the Koala, okay? We've got this little guy who is Phantom and Ghosty, the Ghosty Key Clip. So I don't know what that means. Let's see. He's, he's a little clip-on. He's just a little six-incher and he clips onto something and he's got the little sparkly eyes. So he's a beanie boo, okay? $74.90 for him, plus shipping. All right, here's hers. This is the Kiwi the Frog. I recognize the photo. So that one was the $189 with free shipping. Here is another Kiwi Frog. This one has no tag. So even if you see it and it's missing the little heart tie tag, still pick it up because this one went for $199.99, okay? One thing I would recommend is getting close-ups of the eyes. A lot of times people want to know if the eyes have scratches on them. So just a little tip I've learned from selling plush. This is um, the Arctic Fox. These are all six inches. This one is a Walgreens exclusive. And if you watch the Rebel reseller, you will hear her say, Walgreens, Walmart, Target, those different um, exclusives can do pretty good. So um, the uh, Frost the Fox. All right. Now this little set, these are the Great Wolf Lodge um, Beanie Boos. So there's six of them here. So you can always lot them up. These sold for $230 for the set. This is Beanie Boo's Peanut the Elephant, no hang tag. And this one is a second generation. Again, I have no idea how to know what's first generation and second generation. So you're going to have to do a little more homework beyond this video. But I can definitely give you the basics on what to look for. This one looks like it's 2009. So not that old. I mean, it's old, but not that old. <laughs> All right. This is the Teeny Boo's Goldie the Chick. And it says perfect tag. So anytime the tag's inside that little case, that's going to help. But um, I, I don't know if I'd say that tag is perfect. I see some little stuff right there. But it looks pretty good. $110.95 on that one. So here is another one. These are international Thai Beanie Boos. Germany, Austria, Holland, Switzerland. So they all say something on their bellies. And these were sold as a lot, it looks like, for $499.95. Now, I'm looking over here at the feedback, and it says $399.95. But I'm also looking back here, and it says that they've sold nine. So I'm going to click on this sold nine and I'm only seeing the one that sold for $399.95. So the other ones must have sold 
not in the last 90 days. So this person somehow um, got a whole bunch of these and is selling them in for, for big money. So definitely be on the lookout for those. All right, so that's one way to go in to check to see if the item actually sold is to look at that feedback, okay? If you go up to the seller's feedback, you can actually type in Beanie Boo and it's gonna pull it up. And basically you can see here, these are all Beanie Boos that this seller has sold. Here's one that went for 110. That's another one of those chicks. This is a snow leopard that went for $42.95. Um, if they're lit up blue, you can click on them and that will take you to the um, actual item. So let's look at this one. This one says $14.95. Is that this? Okay, so I'm looking at this one because I showed you the one earlier and I'm looking at this one. So there are differences. This one has a um, candy corn uh, bow. And this one just has an orange one. So maybe that's the difference. Maybe it's the year. So definitely look at those details when you're listing because don't look at this one and be like, oh, it's only a $19 plush um, because you could have this one that was $74. Could have been a timing thing also. Here are the Beanie Boo uh, monkey set. And these sold for $149.95. Again, 13 sold. So somebody must be picking these up um, in bulk somewhere. So, um, but here's my secret, you guys. On eBay, we have to do all this research. We have to go into the feedback. We have to see if the item actually got feedback left for it. If it didn't, we have to see, was the item relisted? Is it relisted in their store? Did this item actually sell? Hey, head over to Mercari because look, these items are selling on Mercari also. I know a lot of you guys think that Mercari is just like a garage sale site. That is definitely not true. You can still sell stuff for big money on Mercari. This elephant actually sold for $350 on Mercari. It's the same elephant. It doesn't have the tag. Um, this item, uh, when, when somebody buys something on Mercari, you automatically, the money is held. As soon as they receive the item, if they don't rate you within three days, that money is deposited into your account. If they rate you sooner than three days, then you get your money sooner. $350, but here's what I wanna show you, okay? All the ones we just saw on eBay, watch this. Here's another elephant, 288 on Mercari. Here's a fox. 260 on Mercari. They're actually selling for more on Mercari. Beanie Boo Peanut with tag, $250. Here's a frog, $240. This is a uh, Thai Beanie Boo. It looks like some sort of horse. There's only one photograph. Um, and this one sold for $230. You guys, if you're not selling on Mercari, um, definitely consider it. It's also a great place to source because a lot of times people underprice things on Mercari because they think it is a garage sale site and it's not. Um, I do have a link down below. It's my referral link. If you use that, you will get $10 credit to buy. And then once you list and sell $100 worth of stuff, you'll get another $20 um, basically to shop on the site. So $30 total you can get for using my referral link down below. And then I also get a credit if you buy something and I get a credit if you sell $100 worth of stuff. So it definitely helps me also. And I really would appreciate it if you use my link down below. But um, Mercari is a really easy site to sell on. So definitely check it out. So here is a Beanie Boo a Bamboo. This is like a Panda Bear, $213. Here's a Beanie Boo Waddles. It looks like a penguin. And I'm not sure why they didn't even put penguin in the title. This one went for 213. Here's a Treasure Beanie Boo. It's a unicorn. 199 plus shipping on that one. And Beanie Boo Joey the Pink Fox. This is a Claire's exclusive. So um, Claire's is like a little boutique, right? Like in the mall. So that one sold for 125. So again, we're looking at an item that was sold exclusively in one store. And if you go here, and what I did is I searched Beanie Boos and then I went down and I hit uh, sold. 
let's see, I'm sorry, sold. So I'm under solds and I'm, I filtered by highest first. So I just kind of wanted to give you guys an idea. There's lots of people that are bundling over here on Mercari, what you're allowed to do. Look at these huge lots of Beanie Boos. Is that crazy or what? So, um, wow. Just, just incredible. Here's, um, a fish. That's not a Beanie Boo. That says reserved. So I'm guessing if you go in there, there's going to be other things listed with that. But you can just kind of sort high to low and you can see the ones that are going for big money. So that is one thing and another way that you can look up comps. Now let's go one step further and go over to Poshmark. And I'm doing the same thing. I just sold something. I am searching sold's highest first Beanie Boo. Right here is that... Um, it says Ty Frost. They didn't even put Fox in the title. And this guy sold for 180 on Poshmark. And then here is a Kiwi the Frog. It sold for 130. So they sold it cheaper. But what's weird is they even have this right here on is that an eBay listing that they put in their listing? Huh, that's interesting. Good price compared to eBay. <laughs> So they put eBay listings on, and that one's in Australia, but um, eBay comps so they that people knew it was a, a good price. That's kind of funny. Hey, yeah, I mean, I guess if it works for you, 130 bucks on that one. This is uh, Beanie Boo Annabelle, and she is also uh, one that I saw uh, quite a few on eBay, but I couldn't verify them with feedback. So I left that one off, but she sold for 75 and again, I'm over here looking at solds um, on Poshmark. So uh, lots, whoops, I don't want to do that. Lots of people bundling, big old bundles. I'm not even sure how, like that's going to weigh over five pounds. So I'm not sure what's going on there or how they're even doing that on Poshmark. Um, I wouldn't advise doing huge bundles like that unless you can keep it under five pounds. I mean, you can go up to 10, but then you're going to be paying that additional shipping cost. They probably don't weigh very much. Here's these emerald um, green ones. They're super cute. So here's another one of the Annabelle's that sold for 70. Here's another treasure that sold for 65. So really what I'm seeing is Mercari is the place to sell Beanie Boos. I don't know what's going on with these. It looks like they have um, one. You get one for this price, but... They have that many in the photo. I think that's kind of confusing, personally. Um, I try to represent what I'm selling in my original photo. But that is just, that's just me. And I will tell you, there are, people do things different on different platforms. Here's a Beanie Boo. This is um, Sky from Paw Patrol. She sold for 45 which isn't too shabby. Here's an Owl for 45 So to me, like anywhere from, gosh, if I can get 15 to... 50 bucks for a plush. I'm happy. Anything over 50 bucks, I am like bolo. So anyway. All right. So these are um some more of the solds over on um Mercari, but these are for Thai Pluffies. I did a whole video on Pluffies. Um they are a certain type of uh Thai plush. I always want to say TY. I don't know why. But if you find them, they can do pretty good. Like this one, 175. There's three here for 180. Just to give you an idea of some other ones to look for. They do have more of a distinct look. Here's a monkey, 99. Bashful lamb. Here's a dog. A hippo, 75. So you guys can definitely go into Mercari and Poshmark and search solds for these items. Here's one like the one I found that I did a video on. I think mine's pink. But this bear sold for 65. Here's a little um, monkey for 60. And if you go over to Poshmark and you look up Pluffies, again, we've got 65 for the pig, 60 for this little elephant, a tiger, 58, this little frog, 50. So, you know, you're talking 40, 50, 60 bucks for a Thai plush. So there are some that will still go for big money. So definitely be on the lookout for some of the beanie boos i just gave you some really good ones to look for uh the chick the fox uh the frog the elephant uh there were a few more i think and then the pluffies so definitely be on the lookout for these you guys i i don't even know if i would have grabbed that if i would have been at the bins honestly if i'm being completely honest i 
I, I didn't know that they went for that much. So go subscribe to Dumpster Diva. Check out the Rebel Reseller. I will link them below and uh, leave me an emoji of a hat or just write hat in the comments. Thank you guys so much for being here and thanks for watching. Uh-oh, was I not sharing my screen? Better start over.